Happy Halloween, fam. It's your boy, Measley G, and Cliff is already ready to trick or treat. As y'all seen him from the top to the bottom, he's ready to do his thing. If you're not subscribed to the Hey Fam channel, go ahead and let's get that done. Let's get that out the way. Also, hit that notification bell. There's always giveaways. There's always something that's happening, new news, early releases. Good cops, G. Just good content. Follow your boy, Measley G. Let's keep the positive vibes. Let's share the channel. Let's go. Getting into today's topic of the hand, I want to discuss the next coming shoes, everything following Halloween. So from here until the end of November, things that I feel are relevant and let's go. So uh, first thing first, okay, um, and I'm, I am going to drop a, a rumored release date of a dope shoe. So first things first. Um, the Air Force One Low Skeleton. Let's take a quick look. Yes. I really like that shoe. It's nice and simple. I believe retail on it is about 100 bucks, And it is dropping on Halloween. Alright. So since that shoe is dropping on Halloween, go ahead and look out for that. That should drop tomorrow sometimes. Pay attention to it. Next, on November 2nd, take a look, y'all. The Kith and Adidas 4D Aspen. This is a bad shoe, y'all. Retail price on this shoe is 500 smack of rules. Um, that is very pricey, but I believe it's only going to be like 800 pairs. It's like the Consortium 4D. So that shoe is dope. I like it. I'm going to try for it. I expect nothing but L. I'm only going to try one time, have somebody buy for me. I'm only going to go once. So I expect the L on that. Also on the third, on the second, uh, we have the NASA Vans Old School. Like I said, I'm a sneak ahead. I like all shoes, and I like Vans too as well. And these NASA ones, especially this white pair, it's pretty dope. So um, take a look at that. They have a few other colorways, but that's the one I would look at if I was looking at anything. All right. Next thing you know, we have on the third the Pharrell NRD Complex Con exclusives. I Want to show these to you none of us are going to be able to get our hands on them because we're not going to be a complex kind and if you are shout your boy out look out if you grab anything if you're able to let me know all right um now getting into it uh we have also on the third we have two jordans dropping one we have the jordan 5 satin bread okay now that's going to be a general release those are pretty much it's going to be a general release shoe. Might be hard to get because I'm not certain on the numbers of this particular shoe. But they do also come in grade school sizing. Now, you saw uh, me and Unbreakable did a video on them. You can take a look at that if you um, want to see a review of the shoe. And also, um, if you ever need those, you know, your boy Measley G, just hit them up. Numbers in the description if you ever need anything like that. Also, dropping on the third is the Jordan 1 PSGs. Okay, um, so just like the fives dropping, I think it's going to drop in a similar fashion. Um, a few online sites um, and maybe Foot Action State Street. So if that is the shoe you're looking for, I doubt that might be in your mall. You're probably only going to get the satin fives. Reach out to your boy Measley G if you're looking to get you or secure you a pair of PSG Jordan 1s. I could definitely look out for a few people on those and a few sizes, all right? Next on my list, all right, November 9th, we have the Yeezy Zebra restock. restock. Double restock, because it's the second time they've restocked this shoe. But yet, this shoe is still a favorite amongst people in the 350 V2 model. I love the shoe. I love the shoe. I will be copping it. This might be... Out of everything, I'm going to go for, so far that I've talked about, those kips, I expect to take an L. So out of everything dropping, I would like that skeleton um, and that um, and that zebra. Um, th those are two shoes that I'm looking for right now. Because that skeleton, I also forgot to mention, has a glow-in-the-dark bottom. So that is also nice. All right. And then um, from there, it starts to get a little busy. We have the Jordan 3 chlorophylls. I think this shoe is trash. This drops on November 10th, as you saw. And I, I think it's just a trash shoe, plain and simple. But if you need help assessing those, let me know. I hope you don't, but I'm here if you do. Okay, then moving on, 
we have the Jordan 4s, two pairs, the singles days and the tattoos. Take a quick look. So we got the Jordan 4 single days and the tattoos. Take a quick look. All right. Now those both drop on November 11th, Chinese exclusives only. So you can be weary of those. Those you can look to cop on eBay. Um, there's a few places that will be having them, I believe, since they drop on the 11th, um, which means that's more than likely the 10th for us. So those will drop on the 10th for us more than likely because China is ahead of us over here in the U.S., and um, my thoughts on these shoes, I mean, you see the shoes. You saw them. I mean, here, here they go again. Bam, you see them again. I don't like them. Either or uh, the red looks too red. It looks like someone spray painted them themselves, even though you can remove the paint and white underneath. It looks a little cheesy too as well. And the tattoos have basketballs on them. So I need to actually see the tattoos in hand. I think that's a dope shoe. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to start reaching out to some people about those right now because I know some people have been asking about them. So, yes, I'm going to get on that. Um, but it's basketballs. I wish it could have been like, I don't know. But I'm going to check, definitely check those out. I need to see those in hand. All right. Next on our list, we have, ooh, the 17th. Now, 17th, we all know we're supposed to get the Rookies of the Year's. Rookies of the Years. We got that Harvest colorway with the white. And from what I'm hearing, people are saying they're buttery. But that's also people who had the pairs early. And whenever people get something early, they always make it seem a little bit better than it is. Because they're first or they're early with it. So they want to create the hype. So that's another shoe I personally need to see in my hand. But I will be securing pairs for all those who want. Please hit your boy Measley G up. And... Um, with that also being said, those Union Jordan 1s too as well. Take a quick look. Uh-huh. Now with those uh, Unions, I think these are trash once again, but they are unique. I do like the old aspect to them. Kind of like they're worn already around the midsole, how it's yellowish instead of white. So I do like that aspect to it, but how they cut the shoes at the top, that Frankenstein look, it's not for me. I don't like, maybe even if they would have used different colorways, but it's like they switched the tops, and that's just trash. Trash once again. But once again, if I can find out the stores, which I usually get access to shoes like that, I should have pairs for anyone who wants me to secure them for them too as well. And this is my rumor drop of the day, y'all. Travis Scott Jordan 4 Olives. What'd you say? Oh, okay, um, so just to keep it real, it's um, it's the uh, the 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 shoe is olive new buck. So the new buck is olive. They look gray, but I want to see how they really look in hand. So the new buck is olive, and the um with the upper, and then it has black detailing. Okay, all throughout the shoe. Now also you have the Nike and the Cactus Jack branding on the heels in red. So it won't be a Jordan like on the blues. It'll be Nike, I'm hearing, and the Cactus Jack um, logos on the heels. And that will both be in red. Now, the purple pair I was hearing is just friends and family only. So this olive, they said, should be dropping soon. A few of my sources have told me November 17th is that date. Now, I highly doubt that date will still stick. It may get pushed back to maybe later on in November or maybe even December. I'm not certain because there's not a lot dropping in December. So I think they may move it to December. But right now, November 17th is a placeholder for the Jordan for Travis Scott's. So if you haven't heard it, you heard it here, guys. You heard it here. You heard it here. Now, just to go ahead and close this out with a few other releases coming out this month, I also thought was pretty dope. You have the um, Transformers um, Puma RS um, RX, and I like that model. It's actually pretty freaking comfortable. Take a quick look at these two shoes. We had the first in the yellow, we, yellow and gray. We had the Bumblebee, and then in the um, the blue and red, 
we have the Optimus Prime. Now, if anything, I think I would go more towards the uh, Bumblebee just because I got too much blue and red. But we'll see how the money's looking around that time and what other releases are coming out. All right. Now, I didn't mention the Sesames. The Sesames drop on the 23rd. Okay, you got the Yeezy Sesames. Um, again, I will be securing pairs for people, but this is not a personal shoe I would like for me. Next, last Yeezy I will be copying will be the Yeezy Salt 500s. Um, the Salt has been pushed back to the 30th. So that date has changed. I believe it was the 17th, but now it is the 30th. And I don't know why they pushed it back to the 30th, but um, it has been pushed back. Other than that, we have a few off-whites we're expected to see. You know, the black Air Force Ones, the vault Air Force Ones. I mean, the shoes are pretty dope. We believe the Mentas are supposed to drop for the uh, 97s on November 10th. That is an expected date. That's not confirmed yet. Also, the, um, the Zoom Flies. So, there's so much off-white that is expected to drop that we don't have any confirmation on dates yet. I will good keep you guys posted and up-to-date on any of those releases as they come out. Other than that, Happy Halloween. It's All Hallows Eve. Cliff, we made it. It's me and Cliff. All right, y'all. We out.